Hi guys, I introduce you to the most awaited version of the Orient OTP plugin, which is Orient OTP Ultimate Multiform plugin. Uh, we got a lot of uh, feedback and suggestions from our users of our plugin, and they suggested that there should be a plugin which allows us to integrate the mobile verification in multiple form because uh, there were some of the users who were using multiple forms. Some of the forms will be for query, some of the forms will be for uh, let's say registration or login so when there are multiple forms on a single page or multiple forms on 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 the same side but on different pages multi-form pack is going to help you uh, do the mo mobile verification there so let me show you how okay so I'm just gonna click on get started and uh, you can see that I've got three forms right now uh, one is for leaving the suggestion second one is for inquiry and the third one is basically for registration okay so this these three forms are coming from different plugins that I'm using on WordPress and uh, as you can see that there is a mobile field for all of these three forms each of these three forms so you can see my mobile phone over here at this point as well as over here okay so these three forms will work individually which means that uh, it will not allow the user to submit each of these forms without doing the mobile verification okay so let's start with this one let's say I enter I just click on submit and you can see that I get a message saying that please verify OTP first right so it won't allow me to submit the form same goes for this one and this one as well okay so these are working separately now I'm just going to fill up this form and I'm going to put the mobile number and I'm going to click on send OTP okay you can see you get a message saying sending OTP and sure enough you can see there's a pop-up now right uh, which says that please enter the verification code okay so in the premium version you get an improved UI uh, you get a pop-up instead of uh, having to be able to uh, put the OTP right here uh, which is slightly different from the um, free version okay so you get better UI and I've already received the OTP but I've, I'm going to first try verifying it without the uh, without entering the OTP so if I click on it you can see please enter OTP it's not allowing me to do that I'm going to enter incorrect OTP and you can see that it's verifying and it says verification code is incorrect okay so you also have an option to resend the OTP so if I click on resend you can see that it's sending the OTP again okay and of course I'll have to enter the right OTP so I'm just gonna go ahead and check my mobile for the correct OTP let's see got it okay so it's two five one six two five one six i click on uh, verify odp and you can see it says verifying and it says thank you for verification the verification is done now it has grayed out this form it's not going to uh, allow the user to change anything okay so just select this select subject and a message And then it's going to allow me to submit this form so you can see that it's allowing me to submit this form okay perfect so you can see that this is submitted however these two forms are still intact uh, so I can do the same for this one as well again if I try to submit it won't allow me because it asked me to enter the ODP so I'm just going to put the number send ODP and I need to enter the OTP. In the meanwhile, just submit the other fields. And I think I've already received the OTP. Let me just enter that one. So nine two two five. Okay, I click on verify. Sure enough, it's verifying. Click OK. It says thank you for verification. Brilliant. Now I'll just put message. I click submit. And you can see that now it's allowing me to submit the form as well this one as well right uh, and same goes for this one as well so if I try to uh, submit it it won't allow me again and then you can do the same thing for this as well okay brilliant so I'm just going to show you how does this actually work when it comes to settings because you might be interested how what settings do I need to put uh, the good news is guys that it's got to be pretty simple you don't have to do much 
in order for you to set up these three forms okay so let's refresh it let's go to our backend okay so all you have to do is go to your WordPress dashboard where you have already installed the plugin the plugin would have already created a setting uh, page for you so if you click on Orient OTP okay that will be the setting page and then once you go in over there uh, obviously you would have different options either to use the Twilio API or message 91 you can choose the one you like and fill up the settings okay and uh, <clears throat> over here right here this is the contact form selectors that you need to fill in okay and then you need to fill in the submit button selector and then the mobile input name and then this part that's all okay so all you have to do in order for you to uh, fill the contact form selector uh, you just need to put the form and then the ID or the class which should be unique okay uh, of that particular form um, and these things for three different forms will be comma separated first of all delete all my existing settings so I can show it to you so first thing is you'll select uh, use multi form as yes and then you need to put the contact form selector so I'm just making a note of it here so we can do it together okay so contact form selector submit button selector uh, we need mobile input field names and we also need the template okay so we need OTP template okay great so let's start with contact form selector so basically I need to select it for the form I need to get hold of each of these forms and I'm going to put these selectors uh, comma separated okay so let's get hold of the first form so I'm going to look for the form element I'll go on top I can find this and I can see there is an ID to this form so and that's going to be unique so I'll just say form hash because that's for ID okay all right and I've got that and that's what I need for the first one okay so form hash WP forms uh, dash form that's the ID basically okay so I've got hold of the first form selector I'll put comma space and let's go for the second one now so I'm going to inspect element I'll look for the form and sure enough I can see there's an ID here okay so I'll use that was a form hash for the ID and you use dot for the class so I'll use hash because it's an ID and what is my ID it is EVF form 418 so it's EVF form 418 I'll put comma space for the third one for the third one I'll do an inspect element look for the form but this time I don't have an ID here I don't have something unique even this class okay so what I'm going to do is uh, I want to get hold of this form so I'll look for something unique so I can see I have a parent uh, right here which is um register and um354 usually these numbers are unique so, uh, so I mean the class names attached with numbers are unique so I'm just going to get hold of these two and put them together okay so dot um register and then there's no space in between again dot this so I get something unique okay uh, a combination of these two classes and then I'll say form space form okay so in this way I've got hold of the form so basically you just have to try uh, get, getting hold of the form in case if you don't have something unique okay so basically I've got three selectors of the form forms comma separated uh, three separate forms uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that and hit save okay um, next thing it's going to ask for the submit button selector so what I have to do is basically whatever selector I've chosen for the first form the contact form selector I will paste it here I'll put space and I will get the submit button selector for the first form so let's see what it is so I can see that there's unique ID right here so I'll, I'll take that for this submit button right here for the first, for the first form I'll put hash space sorry not space and then I'll put that ID there okay great next thing uh, I'll go for the second submit button for the second form and I'm going to copy the form selector that I have created for the first one okay uh, I'll put comma I'll paste it space and then I need the submit button selector for the second form which is I see there's a unique ID here EF EVF submit 418 so EVF submit 
418. Again, I'll put comma for, because I want to go for the third one now. I'll take the submit button selector that I've created on top, paste it, put space, and get hold of the submit button selector of the third form. Okay, so I can see there's an ID here. I'll copy that, paste it. In fact, it's an ID, so it should be hash. Okay, paste it, just increase the size, you can see it clearly. Okay, so I've got, got hold of the submit button selector for the third form. There was unique ID, um submit button, which I pasted here. So basically, uh, I have got uh, the submit button selector for the first form, submit button selector, the second one, and this is for the third one. Okay, and this is a combination of the form selectors and the submit button selectors. And these are comma separated for each of these forms. Uh, then the second last thing I need is basically the mobile input field names. Uh, for that, I, we don't need to put the form selectors. We can just put the uh, names of the um, input fields. So I need the mobile input field name. So I will take this. In fact, before we jump to that, let me just copy this and paste it in our plugin settings. Take that, paste it here. Okay. Great, let's get back to what we're doing. So we are going to get the mobile input field names. Okay, so let's have a look. So I've got name, which is this one. So I'll take that. I'll paste it here, comma, space. I'll go for the second one. So second form mobile input field name is this. I'll copy that, I'll paste it here. Again, comma. Okay, I need to first get rid of the name. Okay, comma is a weird looking uh, name, but that's okay. All right, and let's go for the third one, third form, input field name, inspect element, and where it is? Here it is, okay. Great, let me just increase the font so you can see it. Okay, so basically I've got the first mobile input field name for the first form, I've got it for the second one, and I've got it for the third one as well. So I'm just going to copy the whole thing, paste it here. And uh, this is asking whether you want to create a mobile input field or not. So in my case, I already have the mobile input field uh, fields, so I don't need to select yes because I don't want to create them. I want to use the existing mobile number fields. Okay, then you can just put any of uh, your custom template. Uh, this is basically the message the user is going to receive along with the OTP. You just have to ensure you need to include this uh, text, which is OTP. It stands for one time password uh, inside of the curly braces. If I have to write something custom like your password or your uh, verification code is and uh, make sure you use the curly braces and inside of which you put OTP. So this, this part is important. This needs to be exactly how it is. The rest of the text you can change and customize it, but uh, this part needs to be the same because this is a template. This, will be, this part will be replaced by the OTP that will be sent, okay, by the uh, APIs like Message 91 or, or Twilio. Okay. Twilio, I think, uh, has their own template. And this template is basically for Message 91. Great, so I'm just going to save it, just scroll down, save changes. Okay, great. So, idly, I should be able to see these now. Let's have a look. Okay, and just before I refresh the page, guys, I think what we have missed is a hash sign over here because this is an ID. So, let me just put that. So, then put this letter. Okay guys, now if I refresh the page, I should be able to see all of these three uh, inputs uh, and beneath which you, there should be a send OTP button. So you can see now it's working fine, all right, you've got this one, so first one, second one and the third one and they're all working fine. Brilliant guys, so I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions guys, uh, you can go ahead and leave the comment. Uh, you can also email me your queries on orienthighproducts at gmail.com. Okay, and if you want to buy the plugin, you can go to imrancia.com slash orient. Okay, 
the link will be in the plugin description okay in case if this link changes you can always take that from the plugin description so you can come over here onto the site and you can just select the multi-form pack and there, there are other packs also available in case if you don't want to use it for multiple multiple forms you can use it uh, just for a single one you have the Twilio and Master 91 support you have WooCommerce uh, order SMS and OTP as well so this multi-form basically gives you a lot of a uh, lot of the feet lot of features so WooCommerce uh, there will be an OTP verification on the checkout page of WooCommerce and then on the, you get the order SMS like pending, complete, things like that. And you have the multi-form support as well. Okay, so you can click on get now and then you can just buy it. Okay. okay, so if you are into a different country, you can choose the currency. Let's say if you are going to be using US dollars, you can use that. Okay, we have got different payment methods available. We have PayPal or the credit card, debit card and things like that. Okay guys, great. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment and uh, see you guys then in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.